Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bob, and this is Gill Skills. Today, we have a very special day because we're going to be deconstructing yet another piece or another appliance. On site, we have Other Bob. Other Bob, how are you today? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have this here toaster. We're going to take it apart and we're going to scrap it today for your enjoyment. Interesting. Is the toaster toast? Why, that is correct, Bob. This toaster is indeed toast. It no longer works. So we're going to want to take it apart for its fundamental uh, metals. That's right. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can understand why you would scrap it. What's inside a toaster, other Bob? Well, that's an excellent question, Bob. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure. That's why we're going to take it apart and find out. Let's do that now. We're going to take this puppy apart right now. We're going to find out what's inside a toaster. This is super cool. There's only one screw here. Screw. Let's see, I don't see anything else here. So, oh, there's another screw on top. Let me go ahead and get that. There's another one. I would think it would pop right out. I don't know if it's gonna though. We'll just have to say. Maybe there's some screws underneath here, the legs. We'll have to check that and find out. Oh yes, there's screws hiding. They're hiding inside the legs, so clever. Let me go ahead and pop them out and we'll get them screws all taken out. It's amazing to see how a toaster is all put together like this. All right, let's take those out. There's a lot more screws in this toaster than I thought we would have. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you being here today. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe to Bob's channel because he's a great guy and uh, I would love to do more videos for him because he he takes good care of me. All right, so this is the top section. Let me go ahead and see if I can pull that off. Looks like we've got these pieces here. They're kind of in the way. Uh, let me see if I can snap them off. There we go. Oh, man. Glad I wasn't over there. Uh, so we got this big piece of plastic here really ain't worth much you could probably recycle it so let me go ahead and just kind of set that aside as you can see here well we got more stuff in here than I thought we would have we've got all this this metal here or light iron and we've got these two little boards with little switches here and it looks like they've got some copper contacts so I'm gonna go ahead and take those boards off and we got some wires as well lots and lots of screws You know, this is much more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Who knew there was this much stuff in a toaster? 
not I. So we've got some plastic there. I'll just put that with the other plastic. This is fantastic. Getting there. We are totally getting there. So what I'm going to want to do is detach this power cord. Ah, where's my tools? I need my tools. So I'm going to separate that and pull that out. There we go. This is probably the most valuable piece right here. You've got number two insulated copper. And this here plug... This here plug is brass. That's right, it's brass. So you definitely want to snip that off and keep your plugs. Take the brass out of them because eventually it adds up. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. That's the treasure of the whole thing right there. Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you guys being here. It means the world to me. I'm going to continue to take this apart and give you a play-by-play. -play. That's right. Give you play-by-play. -play. I'm going to take this apart as I go. Let's do some shout-outs while we're taking this apart, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do some shout-outs. There's a couple of whoops. There's a couple of channels that I really like that I'd like to show you. Bob, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to shout out a few channels. First off, I want to say a great big thank you for Pooza Studios for being such a fan diddly tastic supporter of the community. They are awesome. Okay, so we've got Pooza Studios. We've also got Green Bay Wacky. That's right. Green Bay Wacky is another one of those awesome supporters that helps out as much as humanly possible. And I'm going to also put a shameless plug out for my good buddy, Recycle Dude. Now, I know he streams with the other Bob, but I like him too. All right, let's see here. This is the mechanism that closes it up. That's interesting right there. I'll tell you right now. So let's see if we can get this plastic off here. We might need some needle nose pliers, which I've got right here. Yeah. want to take as much plastic off as possible, you know, I, or at least I do, I, I try to, because, you know, the scrapyard really appreciates it, so we got some more plasticky stuff here, but I definitely want to take these boards, so let me go ahead and clip those wires. Looks like Cab 7 is actually making a tour. He's actually touring. He's seeing a lot of YouTubers. I love it. It's always good to see him. Cab 7 is a fantastic YouTuber and a heck of a guy. So yeah, we've got some copper contacts on that right there. As you can see, we've also got some transformers. Pop that right off. This is just a low grade board. There ain't nothing to it really. So we've got a little bit of wire there, which is nice. Let's go ahead and take those screws out. Plasticky stuff. 
That last screw that I couldn't get out of there, but apparently it stayed in there good, so that's fine. All rotty down there. So we got those. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we ended up having. As you can see here, we've got a whole bunch of plasticky stuff. We've got some light iron or tin or shred. We've got some screws and some metal pieces here. And then we've got the piece of resistance of the toaster, which is the plug with the copper and the brass. And then we've got those two little low grade boards with two transformers and some copper contacts. Fan diddly tastic. Fascinating. Is it worth taking a toaster apart? Why no, Bob. I don't believe that it was. If I were to do this all over again, I would definitely just snip the cord and throw the toaster in the shred pile. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Other Bob just took apart a toaster. And for all intents and purposes, it certainly was educational. If you liked what you saw today, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It would be most appreciated. More videos to come. Thanks again. Until the next time, have a scrap happy day. If you want to learn to micro scrap, forget all the other YouTube crap. In his vehicle that he fills, with all of the e-waste thrills, he has energy but he takes no pills, shows you how you can pay your bills. So much scrap, it's like scrap hills, it's gill skill.